Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Shar Weekly. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create Xcode previews for your view controllers when you're using storyboards. As you can see right now that I have a content view and the Xcode preview generated on the right hand side shows me, well, that it contains a text view. But what about my old code where I was writing view controllers? There is no preview available. So how can we fix that? Well, the good news is that your view controllers can also have the Xcode preview. So you can do something on the storyboard or programmatically, and it will change and reflect in the Xcode preview. So how do we get started? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you have an extension and your view controller which is the name of my class, which is also marked with final, so make sure it's marked with final, is going to be using the protocol, which is UI view controller representable. So controller representable, great. Now, whenever we use UI view controller representable in order to conform to that protocol, we must implement UI view make UI view controller and the other one that we must implement is the update UI view controller. And you can see over here, it is returning you a sum controller in both the cases. We can actually use our view controller and we can return a view controller. This is the name of our class, which is defined right over here at the top. And once again, for the update UI view controller, we should be returning our class that we're trying to create or the view controller we're trying to create. Now inside the make UI view controller, you have to construct a view controller and you have to return it. In our case, we are using storyboard. So I already have a storyboard called main.storyboard in which we have a view controller, which simply says hello world, uh, as you can see. And if you check out the settings, the custom class is actually set to view controller. That's great. The other thing that you will see is that the storyboard ID so that we can grab this view controller when you are using the storyboard instance in the code. And the storyboard ID I'm giving is view controller. You can give it view controller storyboard, whatever you want, that's perfectly fine. Now let's go back to our view controller, which is conforming to UI view controller presentable. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get access to the storyboard which is actually pretty simple because I can simply say UI storyboard and I can pass in the name and the name of the storyboard is simply main and the bundle is nil because we are talking about the root bundle, the current bundle. Once we have the storyboard, we can actually grab the view controller. So we can say storyboard dot instantiate view controller using the identifier. This is the storyboard identifier that we are talking about, which is view controller and we're going to cast it to a view controller else if it fails well there's nothing much we can do we're just going to say over here cannot load view controller else we're simply going to return the view controller that we have constructed great so this should build successfully but you can still see that we don't really see any kind of a preview on the right hand side in order to create the preview, we have to create a struct and we have to use any class name that you want. Usually people just say view controller preview so that we know that this is a preview of a class called view controller. And we are going to be using preview provider, which allows you to build a preview. Preview provider does say that you have to implement previews property. So let's go ahead and do that. It is going to return some view, some view. And now we can actually go ahead and return the view controller. You don't even need the return because that's the only line we have. So if you go ahead and simply return the view controller, it would be able to return to you the actual view. And there we go. So now we are using our view controller, but we can still use Xcode previews. And just to see that if it works, I can simply go over here in the view did load and I can say view dot background color equals to 
UI color dot purple. And you can see that now the color is purple. We can even take this one step further by adding a some sort of a control and you will see that whenever we add a control, it will be added in the preview. So if I go ahead and add a simple button control, which is a rounded rectangle button, we can go ahead and change the background of the button to let's say, I don't know, orange, that's fine. And then we are going to go ahead and add the button to our view. So let's go ahead and add the button to the view, save it. You can see that right now the button is not really appearing because we still have to put some constraints on it. So let's go ahead and put some constraints on the button. These are all the constraints. You can see the button is now appearing. And finally, you can, if you want, to set the title of the button. So I'm just going to go over here and show you that we can set the title of the button and the button will reflect that. There we go. So no matter if you're using Swift UI views or you are using view controller, you can use Xcode previews to preview the output, the result of your view controllers. And I think this is a great feature because Surf UI views or the Xcode previews in general allows you to look at the actual view construction without having to run the simulator. And that saves a lot of time for you. And that is why it's such an important feature that you do want in the view controllers because most of your apps are actually written in view controllers. But now you can always use the preview provider and a UI view controller representable to even preview the output, the view of your view controllers. If you like my videos and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my Udemy courses. I have many different courses on many different technologies, including Swift UI. I actually just released a brand new course on testing, which is going to take you on a journey of how to do testing with iOS development and also BDD, meaning behavior driven development. Uh, I have courses on MVVM design pattern, RxRef, ARKit, uh, even machine learning, artificial intelligence, Flutter, Combine, blockchain, Swift, uh, JSON parsing. I mean, a lot of many different courses that can accommodate most of your needs. So the best way to get these courses would be to check out the YouTube description. And I have links to each of the courses in the description. Please use those links in the description of the YouTube. Uh, that will really help me. And if you like this video, make sure to click on the subscribe button so that whenever I release a new video, you will get notification. And also go ahead and click on that like button. That really helps to promote the video so other people can also find it. Thank you so much. And I really hope that you have enjoyed this video.